We begin solving this problem with this masterful drawing. We have the length and width of the ferry boat, which we have drawn as just basically a box. We've got the truck resting on top of it. And then the question notes that when the truck goes onto the boat, the boat sinks four centimeters into the river. So we have basically shown a depth of water equivalent to four centimeters. Notice we've multiplied by 10 to the negative two to convert the centimeters into meters. Now, Next, we're going to draw a free body diagram showing the forces that are acting on the ferry boat. So we'll represent the ferry boat as just a dot. Of course, we have the weight of the truck bearing down on the ferry boat. So we'll call that W sub T. And then the ferry boat is being kept afloat by a buoyant force. It's submerged in a fluid, and therefore there is an upward buoyant force acting on it. And those would be the two forces acting on the ferry boat. Now, the ferry boat is in equilibrium. So of course this means that the upward magnitude of the buoyant force has to be equal to the downward magnitude of the weight of the truck. So we're going to set those equal to each other. And then we're going to talk about a very useful expression for the buoyant force. When you are calculating a buoyant force, you want to use the following expression. You want to take the density of the fluid, which in this case will be water, and then you want to multiply that by the volume of the submerged portion of your object. So in this case, the submerged portion of the ferry boat. We'll talk about that in just a moment, and then multiply that by the gravitational constant g. Let's talk about the volume of the submerged portion of the ferry boat. So here again is our ferry boat, and notice that the submerged portion would be this sort of rectangular or rectangular prism-shaped slice of water right here. So that's the volume of the submerged part of the boat. The upper section of the boat is not submerged, so all we need is the volume of that rectangular prism-shaped slice of water. And we can see that that would simply be the length times the width times this depth right here. So in other words, we're going to start plugging in, and for the density of the fluid, that would be the density of water, so 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed. And then again, for the volume of the submerged portion of the boat, you simply do the length multiplied by the width, and then multiplied by the depth of water, or the depth at which the boat sank. And then, of course, g is just 9.8 meters per second squared. So we can just pick up our calculator now and multiply everything on the left-hand side. And when we do that, we get approximately, or exactly, I should say, 9,408 newtons would be the weight of the truck. If your homework system wants this in kilonewtons, go ahead and divide by 1,000, and you would get approximately 9.41 kilonewtons. So either one of these would be correct for the weight of the truck.